reading for November 19th entitled, Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Dear brother, I have received your letter and have read it. I would encourage you, my brother, to bear in mind that Jesus Christ gave his precious life for you. He will be your helper if you trust in him. Commit the keeping of your soul unto him who gave his own life to a cruel, shameful death in order to redeem every soul who will receive him. Now, my brother, we have met with many souls who, in their Christian experience, have passed through circumstances similar to those mentioned in your letter. You must not trust to your impressions of unbelief. You must put your confidence in one who has given his life for you. Then you will be numbered among the receiving ones, among those who believe and receive his word, and walk not by feeling, but by faith. The word of God is true. Faith takes hold of the divine word, whereas feeling is naught else but something that eclipses faith in a thus saith the word of the living God. Wonderful is the work which God designs to accomplish through his servants, that his name may be glorified. My brother, you must not sink down in discouragement. Lay hold of God's promises with the faith of a little child. My brother, I beseech of you to look away from yourself unto Christ and live. Put your trust in the one who loves human agencies. Let your dependence be wholly on Christ. He is able to save to the uttermost all who come unto him. Believe, believe that Christ will pardon all your transgressions and forgive all your sins. Humble yourself as a little child, and Christ will receive you and bless you and strengthen you. Do not think unbelief or talk unbelief, but take God at his word and leave yourself in his hands to be taught and led of him. Comfort your heart, my brother, by believing that the Lord wants you to be saved and that you are his child. Do not think that your mind must be in a certain state of feeling or else you are not accepted of God. Your faith must rely not on feeling, but on the promises of God. Walk by faith in a Thus saith the Lord. Rest your case with the Lord and believe in his word. Believe, oh, believe the word of the Lord and walk by faith, not by sight. Consecrate yourself anew to God. Be loyal and true to a thus saith the Lord and stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ doth make you free. Taken from letter 388, dated November 19th, 1907, to a church member in South Lancaster, Massachusetts.